Hey, what's going on? Juan here. And today we're going to be installing Edgar Home on Andre. We'll go over the installation process and the configuration to block ads on all devices connected to the home network. All right, let's get started. So what is Edgar Home? Edgar Home is a network-wide DNS server for blocking ads and trackers. Instead of having an ad blocker software on each device, Edgar Home will cover all the devices connected to the home network. Edgar Home also has a parental control feature available. You can enable it at any time to block adult content and force safe search in the browsers of any device. To install Edgar Home on Andre, you need to have Docker enabled. If you don't see the Docker option on the Andre menu bar, go into Settings, click on Docker, set Enable Docker to Yes, and then click on Apply. Then to make the installation easier, we are going to be using the Community Apps plugin. If you don't have that installed yet, I have a video guide on how to set it up. You can find a link in the description below. After you have that configured, go to Settings and under Enable Additional Search Results from Docker Hub, set it to Yes, click on Apply, and then Done. Search for Adgar Home and click where it says Get More Resource from Docker Hub. Locate the Adgar Home official image and click on the Install button to access the container settings. There are a few things that we need to configure before installing the container. On the top right of the page, change from Basic View to Advanced View. The container doesn't have the Adgar icon set up by default, however, you can add it on their icon URL. You can find a link for that icon in the description. On their web UI, enter the following. What this means is that when you try to access the Adgar web interface from Andre, it will use the IP address that you set up for Adgar, and it will go through port 3000. For the network type, change it to custom, and under fixed IP address, enter the IP address that you would like for Adgar Home. Next, you need to create a new folder named Adgar Home inside the app data directory. Then inside that folder, you will set up two volumes to store the configuration and the data. So click where it says add another path, port, variable, label, or device. Leave the config type set to path. Set the name to work directory or data directory. For the container type, enter forward slash opt forward slash adgar home forward slash work. Then on the host path, click on the empty field and select app data from the dropdown. At this point, you haven't created the Adgar Home folder yet, so at the end of the path, enter Adgar Home forward slash work. The installation process will create the folder and subfolder automatically. Click on Add and then add another path. Set the name to config directory. For the container type, enter forward slash opt forward slash Adgar Home forward slash conf. On the host path, select app data again. At the end of the path, enter Adgar Home forward slash CONF and then click on Add. You also need to configure two ports, port 3000 for the web UI and port 53 for DNS. So click on Add, set the config type to port. For the name, enter web UI, the host port set it to 3000, and the connection type set it to TCP. Click on Add and then add another port. For the name, set it to DNS server, the host port to 53, and the connection type to TCP. Click on Add, and the configuration is all set. Make sure the option Start Container After Install is checked, and then click on Apply. When the installation completes, click on Done, go back to the dashboard, and the container will now be running. You can click on the AdGuard logo, and then click on Web UI to access the AdGuard Home web interface. When you access the web interface for the first time, you get the welcome screen to start the initial configuration. Click on Get Started, and on the first configuration step, you can configure the ports for the web interface and the DNS. Change the port to the web interface to 3000, and then click on Next. In the next step, set up a username and a password for the web interface. Click Next, and on the following page, you get the details on how to set up your devices to connect to the AdGuard DNS server. Click Next, then Open Dashboard, and sign in using the new username and password you set up. The dashboard provides a brief overview of what Adgar is doing. You can see stats on the DNS queries, block domains, and malware. If you enable parental control, it would also show stats on any block adult websites. 
Now let's go over the settings. If you go into the general settings, you can enable parental control and also save search. Enabling these two options here will affect all devices in your home network. However, you can also set up these options on a specific devices only. We'll go over that in a minute. In here, you can also set up how long you want to retain the query logs and the statistics. If you go into the DNS settings, you can change the DNS server that Adgar uses. By default, Adgar Home is using the Quad9 DNS server. However, you can change it if you would like. You can click on the list of non-DNS providers and select the one that you would like to use. If you would like to configure settings like parental control that would only affect your children's devices, you can do so in the client settings. So if you add a client, you can set up the person's name or the device name. Then under tags, you can select the tag that will correspond to the client. For example, you can choose the type of device that the person uses, the OS type, and the user type. Then under identifier, you can add either the device's IP address or the device's MAC address. Something to have in mind is that if you set up an IP address, you will need to have that device configured with a static IP address on your network. If the client you are setting up has multiple devices, such as smartphone, tablets, and a computer, you can add more than one IP address or MAC address under the same client. Under settings, you can enable parental control and save search. Then on block specific services, you can block social media websites, chat applications, and video streaming sites. If you would like the client to use a particular DNS server, you can go to the upstream DNS server and add a specific DNS. You can then save the configuration and the device or devices set up under that client will follow those settings. Next, let's look at the filters tab. If you go to DNS block lists, Adgar by default is using its own DNS filter. However, there are several DNS block lists out there that you can use. You can also enable the other two block lists already added to Adgar or add additional block lists. If you would like to whitelist or block a website, you can create a custom rule under custom filtering rules. Adgar provides a few examples of common rules that you can use. For example, to whitelist a website, you can enter double add symbol, double pipe, then the URL for the site that you would like to whitelist, and at the end of the rule, you will use a caret symbol. If you would like to block a website, you will use the same, but without the double add symbols at the beginning. All right, last but not least, we have the query logs. Here you can see all the DNS queries that are going through the Adgar DNS server. You can check what domains were blocked and not blocked, and you can also either block or unblock a specific domain. When you do either action, Adgar will create a custom rule for that domain. After you have Adgar Home configured, the next step is to set it up as a DNS server for your home network. So access your router settings and locate your DNS configuration. If you have a unified router, you will go into Settings, Network, edit the LAN settings, and under DHCP Name Server, change it from Auto to Manual. Then enter the Adcard DNS IP address. Save the changes, and the network is good to go. Your devices will need to reconnect to the network to get the new DNS settings. All right, so you now have a network that will block ads on all your devices, protect them from malware, and also protect your family from unwanted content. So what do you guys think about Adgar Home? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video.